show. This is open mic ready. All right, it's KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM, 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. You know what it means. It is time again for Open Mic Radio. We're going to get it rolling with one from my favorite. This is Ray Fitzgerald. A good doctor told me You look like a ghost I'm not dead Mama just colder than most Walking through Chicago Staying with a friend Think about the poison of comfort
Yeah, super cool stuff there from the wonderful Ray Fitzgerald. That's Lost in Ukrainian Village from her masterpiece uh, album from, I guess, 2015 or so. And uh, that was called Popular Songs for Wholesome Families. <laughs> and the, and, and the uh, yeah, the, the entire album is as good as the title. All right. Uh, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, Saturday, the 18th of March. All right. We got a fun show. And uh, I'm glad you're with us. Okay. We do this most every Saturday afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. Live music and interviews with some of Missouri's finest musicians and bands. My name is Mike Hagan. I'm joined, as usual, by my brother, kind Kurt. Good afternoon, Prathersville. Got Clark in the corner, as usual. What's up, Clark? Hi. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, my name's Mike, and uh, we do it every Saturday. We feature awesome local and regional music. And Except for the second Saturday. Well, of yeah, the month. yeah. We don't, we don't. As, we as, as was Friday. as was indicated last Saturday when we weren't here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Big Cat Matt, as a matter of fact, last, a really good show. last week with uh, Rockabilly Corner. If you like uh, early country rockabilly uh, style music, or if you don't know about it, check out. Big Cat Matt's Rockabilly Corner. That's the second Saturday of every month. Same time as we do it Good here. Good tunes, yeah, always. Four to six on uh, on Saturday, okay? All right. Uh, yeah. Um, winter back with us, Kurt, for another day or two at least. But mid-March now, spring's certainly in the air. Well, you you always know spring is in the air, man, when it when in Missouri when the temperature drops like 35 degrees overnight. Yeah, you get overnight. one last blast, yeah. and uh, I think this is it. <laughs> so anyway, hope you get out there staying warm. A couple more days of it, but we got uh, warm weather, I think, from here on out. So regardless. Well, March came in like a lamb, so isn't it supposed to go out like a lion? It's supposed to be the other way, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. well they're saying like a lamb out like, but I think it works the other way. Yeah. And right. it was really nice when it started. We'll see. <laughs> animals are the Missouri Tigers. I'm predicting like two. Tigers um, play, uh, speaking of animals, right. Missouri Tigers playing basketball this afternoon, basketball five o'clock. Action. Little not, tiger on tiger action today. Little wow, all right. Princeton Tigers. Little NCAA uh, basketball action, and if you're not paying attention to that, I'm going to go out know. on a limb and I'm going to I'm going to say the Tigers are going to win. Well, they're playing like Princeton, it. who beat Arizona on a whim, and so I don't know. I'd say the the, the the odds are probably with the Tigers, but they were they were they weren't favored in the first game. They were the underdogs in the game. Which Tigers are you talking about? You talking Missouri about Tigers. the Missouri Tigers or the Princeton Tigers? The Missouri Tigers. Oh, okay. Yeah, they right. So they were they were uh, they were an underdog, no doubt. We got the, I, I <laughs> technically didn't, both. Yeah. Really? Regardless, uh, my money's big, on the Tigers. Big game this way. afternoon. <laughs> I'm taking the Tigers. <laughs> so. I, I bet you the, that our Tigers are favored, though, this afternoon in Missouri Tigers. I think they are, actually. Right? They are. Yeah. So. But anyway, there's been a lot of upsets. Oh, you my know, gosh. Like, yeah. Purdue got beat last yeah, night. Yeah, that was a fun one to watch. Yeah, that was fun against a, I, Fairmount something or other. Uh, I yeah, I, yeah, it sounded like a, it sounded like a like an old like a, like a famous author that I'm not familiar with. You know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you know, I don't. I'm not much for for professional sports but but I, but I do like the NCAA tournament it's a lot of fun I don't and, and I don't pay enough attention during the regular season to really know anything I just go oh, wow great game you know yeah. <laughs> so anyway if you're enjoying that good if not you know I hope you're enjoying something else all right find a way to do it uh, Friday night last night busy one downtown uh, we'll open the phones if you want to tell us what you did give us a scoop okay Four four three eight two five five. If you got, uh, also if you got something going on, or if there's yeah, something that's coming uh, up, you yeah. might want to tell us about. We'd be glad to share the news. If you right? got a band and you want to uh, promote it, call us up. Let us know about your gig. Kurt will probably do some sort of a roundup uh, at some point in the show here. Um, but anyway, we're gonna play some songs from some of my local favorite artists and my, uh, well, not just local, I guess regional, whatever favorite artists that are from around these parts. All right. I like that Ray track. The fit she's thing. just the like, best. Yeah. I, love, I love. I love. I love her. She's playing tonight. Yeah, her and uh, and Chaz Premack, uh, who was here with us a few months ago. Remember when Chaz was here? Yep. Just an outstanding guitar player. And uh, I think that event is going on as we speak at the Blue Note. Actually, well, fifteen twenty five dollars to get in. Right. It's an all day affair. It's a. It's but a I don't Wednesday. think she's playing until about six. Ray plays so, six until yep. six forty or six forty five, and she'll be accompanied with. Uh, 
or by Chaz Premack on guitar. So uh, that's going to be a great uh, event all day. It's been going on. It's been going on for a while. So um, if you're out there, I'm sure you're enjoying it. If you're not, uh, consider going down to the Blue Note. There's great music throughout the night tonight, and and it's a um, a Women's Day special. All right, we'll play one from uh, from Chaz uh, as well. Um, Great guitars, but. I don't know, not to, not quite yet. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the four. <laughs> you know who else might sh- show up this afternoon? We've got um, Van Ghost. Mason Van, Van Ghost. Ghost is going to stop by. And I believe he's performing tonight at uh, Rose just down the street. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, what's that event? Is it a? Is it the Indie Fest? No. That is, let's see here, I got to like, I have this all pulled up. And, then and Chaz Premack, by the way. Me. Uh, he. It's actually it's a, it. it's it's a uh, uh, album release show. That is the event, the Van Ghost album release show. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. So yeah, yeah we've got and we've got a few tracks from uh, from Van Ghost's most recent record, the one that they're cel- celebrating tonight. And doors we'll are at seven, play. shows at eight, and uh, fifteen dollars to get in. Okay. Yep. All right. I was say, I was going to say though that um, uh, Chaz is playing with with Ray tonight and has been uh, for a while that they're, they're sort of a, uh, uh, he's been accompanying her for, for lots of shows. They actually are back from a, from a small tour that they uh, were on for the last three weeks or so. But mm-hmm. at any rate, he performs under the moniker Lake Mary. Uh, uh, if you're looking for his solo work and, uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll play one from Chaz here in a few minutes, but anyway, uh, Mason Van Gogh is going to join us in a little bit here. I think Bummy's going to stop by. Bummy. Uh, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be a holiday. Uh, that's right. It's a Bummy, bummy St. Patrick's Day. Bummy Day. Yeah. <laughs> we'd like, satan- yeah. like to have a Bummy Satanic Day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we like we like to have uh, Bummy on the on the holidays, so we're close enough to St. Patrick's Day that I think so, Bummy's going to stop by. Uh, Paul Meyer, uh, one of the members of the band, the Rolling Stops, and they're going to be with us next next week. Actually, really cool bluegrass uh, jam band, sort of. Um, maybe a visit from Matt Homan, proprietor of B Side Records. He was supposed to be here a few weeks ago, but uh, they've got a new venue that they're working on opening up over there, and I'd like to get to talk to Matt. And find out what's happening over there uh, at B Side, and that's uh, you know over there by the biscuit, uh, the biscuit bar and log boat. There's a whole lot happening over there yeah, in, that, the in pasta, that so-called arcade yeah. district. Or uh, in Was the it? stockyard. Yeah, the yeah, stockyard. yeah. There, I, I, I guess there's some sort of a. a argument in, they in, should bring back among the citizenry the cat- about they should bring back they call the stockyards. It, I'd yeah, like to see like cattle like milling about like hey, you're trying I, to park like you're trying to buy for a parking spot but like yeah. you you might have have a bull like have you ever been know. to India? No, I have okay. Not. You don't want cattle <laughs> running around, <laughs> all right? Trust me. <laughs> Let's bring India to us. That's what I'm saying. Mike. Bring India like, home. Can, just bring. India. Come to Jamaica. We have many things here. <laughs> Paul Meyer. I mentioned that with the Rolling Stops. Yeah, they'll be with us next week. Uh, Matt from B-Side. I don't know. You never know who else might drop by. Anyway, okay. Uh, pleasure to have you here with us. If you want to be a part of the program, give us a ring. 573-443-8255. 573-443-8370. Mostly we're just going to have some fun and uh, hear some great music like we do on Open Mic Radio. Uh, Every week. Every, well, except for the one. Right? Well, except for the second <laughs> week. <laughs> you got me. Got you. you got me. He's always calling yeah, me on right. that one, you guys. So anyway, all right. At some point, like I said, we'll do a rundown of some of the things that are happening around town tonight, tomorrow, later in the week. Lots to do. Get out there. Have some fun. All right. Stay warm, though. All right. We are down here in the uh, lovely KOPN headquarters, 401 Bernadette Drive. And uh, phone lines open once again, 443-8255-573-443-7380. Big thanks to TK, grooving on the one mic since 2 o'clock. Before that, 11, I'm sorry, uh, noon to 2, yeah, Morgan and the Motherland Jam. Great stuff uh, from across the continent of Africa. In Africa, yeah. We're doing it sure. from 4 to 6, and right after this program, stick around, because you got great... <laughs> Reggae party, on! A reggae party coming at you. Get your reggae. From 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock. 
Awesome music, roots rock reggae. Once again, Rashimba in the house in a little bit here. Blue and uh, yeah, stick around. Eight o'clock. Chris takes the helm. Eleven o'clock uh, or eight to eleven with Blues on Broadway. And uh, you keep it dialed in here, okay? KOPN around the clock. Eighty nine and a half on the dial. Your imagination station streaming. KOPN dot org. Last week, uh, like I said, Big Cat Matt. Um, the, remember the, the week before that on the fourth, we had uh, a lot of fun with Rocket Kirshner. We listened. Uh, we listened and <laughs> discussed, detective. and actually had had a whole. Discussion discussion about his newest release it's a a cool record it's entitled casebook of detective ryback a detective story yeah if you miss the show uh subscribe to the podcast right you'll never miss another one okay uh for today's show um you know, I, and don't make fun, Kurt, but we were supposed to have Ray Fitzgerald here. With, <laughs> yeah, with the us. elusive Ray. The elusive yeah. Ray. Uh, you, uh, you know what, like, getting Ray on the show reminds me of? When, when, when I was a kid, man, we went camping, we go snipe hunting, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, if you've oh, ever done me. that, that's, a, that's the same thing as, like, mm. b- booking Ray. <laughs> no, it's easy to book Ray. Well, no, that's yeah, not, it's, that's, it's just the getting. Right. No, she... You know she's my favorite, and uh, anyway, she she's sure performing she at uh, <laughs> at six and at the Blue Note. And if it weren't uh, for sound check and uh, load in and all that stuff, uh, she she'd be here, and Chaz would be here as well. We were actually all looking Ray forward to. Ray kind of sounds it. like that but, girlfriend used to tell me about from hey, Canada or whatever hey, that you met it. like overseas. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we're rescheduling with Ray and Chaz, uh, but we are going to play some music from the two of them. And like I said, we're going to get a, a visit from Van Gogh and uh, uh, a few other folks stopping down, I think. All right. Okay, so um, before Kurt makes me look too stupid, we're going to play one here from, <laughs> and you know, Chaz does these awesome, cool, sort of drawn-out pieces, and so take a breather here and enjoy this one. Yeah, he was here recently. Uh, Lake Mary. Up under Lake Mary. From uh, one of his most recent, I think this is actually, um, the, the song's called Once It's All on the Ground. And I think that's actually the name of the, of, of, of the, uh, of the album as well. Regardless, uh, check this out. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia.
Yeah, all right. <laughs> now that we've got you all relaxed, <sighs> welcome to the program once again. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. That's one from Lake Mary, a.k.a. Chaz Premack. Once it's all on the ground. And you can catch Chaz playing with Ray Fitzgerald just a little bit later uh, this evening, 6 o'clock or so at... Uh, Hey, what's that noise? <laughs> At uh, the Blue Note tonight, all right? A bunch of great stuff happening down there, okay? All right, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, and I'm going to keep the music rolling here with a little something from my good friends from St. Louis. This is Ryan Kennig and Kelly Everett and Jess Atkins, a.k.a. the Golden Rods.
<laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's the Goldenrods and music from St. Louis. They were visiting uh, a week or so ago, a week and a half, did a show or a number of shows for the True False Film Festival or in relation to. And they were down here in the studio visiting with me and Kevin Walsh and a bunch of other people um, a couple weeks ago on a Sunday. So anyway, the Goldenrods, it's Ryan and uh, Kelly and Jess. Awesome stuff. Uh, and again, uh, really cool local regional music. Now, Kelly, for that matter, uh, is uh, the wife of Ryan, and Kelly also plays the bass or baritone and baritone saxophone for the Hootenhollers. So, yeah, it's a tangled web we weave <laughs> here, mm-hmm. here in the mid-Missouri music but scene. But a family affair. Yes, for sure. All right. Pay no attention to the earlobes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, so uh, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. No offense to those with earlobes. Um, <laughs> it, it's, got mine covered. Yeah, we got them. We all got them. And it's 89.5 uh, on the dial, KOPN.org. Let me say quickly that this program is brought to you in part by Critter Control. As the warm weather arrives, so does the birthing season for many animals. Mother animals will give birth in attics, and if they have access, uh, They'll do it, but Critter Control will get those uninvited guests out and keep them out. More information available at CritterControlMissouri.com. I managed to find my way in here. Yeah, we, we, need, to, we, need, to, we, need, to, we need to up our contract with them. we got a bunch of rodents in this here this as afternoon. As long as he's not reproducing. <laughs> yeah, thank God for that. Right. All right, so uh, actually has a lovely daughter. Um, and uh, oh. hey, so uh, Kurt, uh, we have yes, a guest in the studio this afternoon. Uh, one of many, I think. We're not sure who else might show up. I think Bummy's going to join us in a minute. But uh, uh, Paul Meyer, from, Paul Meyer. Yeah. Uh, who is a bass player with the uh, the Rolling Stops. A, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure how I would describe the band because I've only heard a clip, a very, very, very little bit of their music. But, but, but I guess on the bluegrass side, at least I could say. Well, somewhat. Uh, we. You know, a little bit of folk, a little bit of country. Um, one of our members, Dave Luther, is a songwriter as well, so we've got a lot of original stuff of his. All right, cool. And, Paul, you're a Missouri guy originally, or where are you from originally? Well, I moved here in 82 from West Palm Beach, Florida. Ah, I think you actually mentioned that to me off the air. West Palm Beach. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. sister lived there for I, I kind of like I kind of like seasons. Well, you get them here. As opposed to yeah. tourist season. <laughs> you, you get them now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You know, I like I liked, I liked visiting West Palm and, and Florida in general, but the uh, Florida's great living for there, visiting. man, no thanks. I will say the one thing that I miss the most, other than the ocean, is the bass fishing. Yeah, yeah. Big because bass. Bigger than here, for sure. Yeah. Well, they can grow all year, you know. That's true. <laughs> yeah, nothing slow me and down. eat all year. And eat all year. Yeah. Although there's some big bass up here in Missouri, there are some but they're big no ones they're here. no fifteen pounders I've like, seen, like I've you get seen down some there. Big ones, but not yeah. the not the number that you get in the. You can catch them all day down, down there, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, catching a bass is a thrill. You know, are you familiar with the uh, the artist Robert Earl Keen Jr.? Oh yeah, I'm sure you are. Right. Very much. He he has a song from maybe his first record, one or maybe his second, but it's called Five Pound Bass. I don't know if you've ever heard the song, but I may have. But it's it, it it's one worth worth checking out, and it's a great one to perform. It's it's a it's a crowd pleaser if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, Paul and the band will be here with us next Saturday. That's the what twenty fifth. That's right. Of March, and we're gonna have a live performance from the Rolling Stops. Uh, yeah, throughout the show Main next Saturday. So come, come, come on back and join us for okay. some some cool yeah. folk, uh, country style bluegrass little, stuff. Little bit of mixture of everything. All right, very good. Yeah. What's the? I, I don't want to ask too many questions now because I want to save them for the for the show next well, that's week. Good. Of course, most of my listeners will have forgotten by then. So. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but what's the makeup of the band? Okay, makeup of the band: Dave Luther, uh, singer, songwriter, guitar player, and harmonica player. Uh huh. Greg, that, Pol- that name sounds familiar. Memphis, does that name sound familiar? Dave Luther. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't name all of the other bands he was with, but uh-huh. he's recently back here in Columbia from the Jeff City area. Okay, all right. Um. Also, we've got Greg Coleman, who is a singer and guitar player, has an encyclopedic 
knowledge of all kinds of music. Dang. She just doesn't have total recall. <laughs> uh, his girlfriend, Sherry Stewart, will be singing some harmonies with us, and she plays a little bit of guitar along with. Okay. Uh, and then um, Daniel Trokey, uh, he's from over in the Fulton area. He's our percussionist, and he'll probably just pop in with his uh, cajon and, well, glorified cajon. <laughs> He's, how do you glorify? Uh, how do you make a cajon more than it's well, bigger and better than just it, have it was to, before? You'll just have to see it. <laughs> okay. It's everything you add to the box. Uh huh. Is it actually like uh, utilitarian, or is it just like like put jewels on it to make it look? Oh fancy? no, no, it's utilitarian. Right, everything so, has a function. Uh, all right, so everything has a bells function. and whistles and yeah. cymbals and, and depending, whatever. Depending on what songs we decide to play, he may bring his washboard too. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. I love it. Nice. I, I, I encourage the washboard if you're out there <laughs> listening. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, I'll be here with my upright. All right. Well, we'll set you up right out there uh, outside the studio here, and and. Uh, that's a good space. Yeah, we yeah. Nice I think we can fit there. there. Yeah, and then yeah. We'll, then we'll just drop in here when we're when we're chatting. So sounds good. All right, all right, cool. Looking forward to that. All right, um, next and, and you have shows coming up. Anything you want to mention real quick? That's uh, I know you got. You uh, know, they're supposed to do a, a show tonight. Pardon me. We were um, supposed to do Cooper's last night. Well, and there and there's one on the schedule for today. And I'm thinking, are they really doing? Anything out there at, with this weather, or or do they have the, the ability to do it inside now? No, not at Cooper's. They don't I, have any indoor. I anything. didn't think so. So no. I mean, if there's a show at Cooper's tonight, you know, bundle up. It's Cody good. Percival's supposed to be there six to nine. Cody's so, going to be there. So we'll and see. He's, he's we'll see, man. <laughs> uh, I, I thought his got canceled as well, but it might have. Well, it wouldn't know. surprise me. I don't know. If he's there, he's just going to hit play either. on the CD <laughs> yeah. player and yeah. walk I away. Th I think he got rescheduled till the 4th. Okay. I think. Yeah, because there's nowhere to play inside anymore. There's nowhere there, to right? play inside, yeah. and this cold weather is not conducive to fingers. No, it no, is not. not at all, especially okay. on the river. Right. And you, yeah, and the yeah. wind like this? Yeah. Oh, my. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So, all right. Sounds good. We will. But you've got stuff... Uh, Later in the spring, certainly coming up. I'm, yeah, I'm sure more yeah. shows at Cooper's. We'll, we'll, and we'll fill you in next we'll week. We'll do that next when, week. When uh, we can work on Total Recall. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, Paul, good to see you, man, and we'll uh, catch up. Uh, cool. Paul's also a, a really talented carpenter and craftsman, and he's doing uh, some stuff at uh, at our house in Roachport, and, and, and thanks for that. I appreciate the, you're what you're welcome. doing. It's, it's fun and it's cool. Well, and, hopefully uh, Mother Nature will be more cooperative when you guys schedule. Well, I, I believe our I believe our next. Well, we've actually we've got a fundraiser for a homeless effort in Fulton that will be playing on the first. Uh, we've got about three hours for that, uh, and then we get Mother's Day. Now, where will that be Cooper's. in in Fulton? Uh, I'm gonna have to check and see where it is. It's ah, we'll find yeah, out next. It's, it's a fairgrounds. Right. Yeah. Let's get back to music. We're going to get back to music, all right? All right, Paul, cheers, man. Uh, open Mic Radio, we're going to play some more Ray Fitzgerald here. Uh, she's performing at... The elusive, the ever-elusive Ray Fitzgerald. Blue Fugue. <laughs> no, not the Blue Fugue, the Blue Note. Tonight, 6, six o'clock. Check her out. She'll be performing with Chaz Premack. Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. There was a time you were my friend you may try to and pour me gin Deep inside the San Joaquin The suffering will keep you lean You go off to Hawaii Spray poison on what we eat You come back feeling real sad Say you hate your company Now I hear Getting fat, you say you want my mama back. Desert take is never slave to drink your gin and eat pancakes.
place, just you and me. Sat with other families, past the bread and Mr. Meat. You're a bastard in the end. At least that's what I tell my friends. My heart goes out to Magic Town, or wherever you're living now.
All right, going to jump in real fast and say, yeah, Ray Fitzgerald, all right? One of my absolute favorite artists from around these parts, and really, I don't care where she's from or where you're from. Awesome, awesome music. That one's called False Moon. I'm going to play another one from Ray, but, uh, yeah, we're just remarking here. She's playing here. tonight at the yeah, Blue Note. that's exactly what we were talking about here in the studio, how wonderful she is and that she's performing tonight with... Uh, and along with Chaz Premack, an outrageously good guitar player. So check them out. They play at 6 o'clock tonight at uh, at The Note. And there's a bunch of cool... The event's going on right now, like Roshara Night, and the Honey Doves are there. Yeah, they've been on this program. Remember when Roshara and um, sure, yeah. uh, Audra uh, Sergal, and I forget some of the other members of the band, but they performed with us, remember? They did, like... It's been two, Roshara can ago. sing, baby. Yeah. Oh, Yes. Actually, anyway, that was at the old studio, wasn't it? You always say that. So. No, it was I here. I think it was. No, it was here. It was here? No, nah, maybe it was at the other, it was, it was at the other studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, anyway, uh, good In stuff. In my mind, I'm still there. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff tonight uh, and uh, all evening down at the Blue Note and, and elsewhere, but we'll go through that in a little bit here. But I'm going to keep it going here. This is one. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a bunch of old stuff from Ray, but uh, toward the end of the program, I'll play some new stuff. All right. This is one of my favorites. So this one's called Copper and Genesis. You're listening to it over Mike Radio, KOP in Columbia, 89.5 FM. <laughs> hey, way to grab that. <laughs> We're on the web at KOPN.org. I want to be the name you call to your sick bed. fails to call you, I'll be Yeah. 
from Ray Fitzgerald. Once again, you can check her out tonight. Six o'clock at the Blue Note, performing with Chaz Premack and a bunch of other artists after that. So, yeah, good stuff tonight at the Note. And uh, we're going to find out what else is happening around town. Well, we can start so, there. Uh, That's going on right now. Women's Day of Music at the Blue Note. Uh Tickets are between fifteen and twenty five bucks. That's that's the show today, tonight. That's the show. Well, Rashar Knight and the Honey Doves, Ray Fitzgerald. They already performed though, didn't they? Doors are at like three. Yeah, right. And right. Like the show started at four, so I don't know what the you know. Maybe Rashar is headlining. I don't know. Anyway, okay, check it out yourselves. But but yeah, who, who Ray, else is on the, uh, on the Rachel list? Ammons, uh, Simone James, and Katie. Uh, is it Jalen in the Drive? Okay. I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation of that. Well, Kurt, you know, you do the best you can, so I appreciate that. Well, at least you recognize that this is the absolute best that I could. (laughs) (laughs) I know you're at the top, top of your game, man, so. (laughs) Yeah, man. (laughs) Anyway, uh, and at the Rose, actually, we got Van Gogh's, the album release show. The doors are at seven for that. I'm hoping for a visit show. from from Mason here shortly, sometime before six. Yeah. I've got some songs that I want to play of his, um, and I'll play them either way. But hopefully, he'll be here to uh, join us shortly, and, and he can tell us a little about 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 the new new music. About so. yeah, the new the album. Yeah, right? it's awesome. Yes, we do have it. If you're not familiar, we, he's we super have talented. It where we can play some. Well, I've got three songs that that you know that that, that he sent to me, album. but they haven't been released yet. So yeah. yeah okay. Well, because it is being released tonight. There you go. There you go. 7 o'clock doors, 8 o'clock show, uh, $15 to get in, and he's with Sergio Slayer. It's Sergio. Okay. Sergio. Sergio. <laughs> Ser, Sergio. And you have to snap your fingers and say, I'm a, and say I'm a dancer after you say Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you ran your finger through a router, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, sorry. No offense to Sergio. Correct. So then at the dive bar, man... 
Speaking of Van Ghost in the house. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. All right, keep, All right. keep, keep it going, though. What else? Uh... Uh, dive Bar tonight uh, at 8 o'clock. We got the Bad Names. The Bad Names? Bad Names. All, right, all don't, one don't... word, though. Don't say any of them on the air. All it's all one word, not two words. Not okay. bad names, but bad names. Ah, okay. Bad names. Okay, all right. Maybe it's Badnamas. Bad names. <laughs> bad names, yeah, with Sergio. <laughs> they should get together. Sergio uh, and Bad names. There we go. All right, what else? Anything else in <laughs> town? <laughs> um, Actually, let's get out of like our little comfort zone here and go somewhere else. Is Berlin doing anything? Is Cafe Berlin doing anything? Not that I could find. No, then they're, then they're I not. I mean, they have been doing shows, would, but no, there's nothing. You would find it. I know you would. I would if they do were my best. Right. Get like call up Eli and be like, "Hey, man, what's going on at your place?" Let's do anyway, the, Let's do the southern scene. So in uh, Hartsburg, though, we've got uh, at the Berg in Hartsburg tonight at seven thirty is, cool, is Devil's cool little, Icebox. That's, you've probably been to Hartsburg yeah. to, to the Berg in in Hartsburg. Yeah, I'm talking. So to they're Paul playing at seven thirty. I don't know about like if there's a cover or you know. Okay, what's well. going on with that? Um, and then uh, at the Outpost in Jeff City, in we got Chloe Hoker. <laughs> <laughs> That's at seven o'clock at the Outpost Bar in Jeff City. All right, okay. Chloe Hoker, yep. And uh, man, California, the Pizza and Pub we, is DJ well, spins. If we could go Come back, on, in, if we could go back in time, I'm sure it was a hot night at the Twisted Pickle in Jameson. <laughs> but, 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 but they ain't got nothing going on tonight, nothing man. Tonight at because the last night was so awesome. Hey, St. Patty's Day. At the Twisted, Twisted Pickle. Pickle. They're oh still cleaning up. Ne- yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. It's still going on, probably. <laughs> they haven't stopped. Right? It's they, St. They, Patrick's they Week. Don't, they don't know. Yeah, at yeah. the Twisted Pickle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but but in California, they got, there's karaoke and DJ spins at uh, the Pizza and Pub joint. Yep. And what? at Dave's at Taos, we got the Carson Tucker Band at 8 o'clock. All right. What about, uh, let's see, there's Chill Bones at Twin Bridges. Chillbone. Ooh, the chillbone. Not the. It's just chillbone. It's just okay. Chill bone. It's just chillbone. Don't offend One the band. Word. You know, it's crazy how some bands are like, hey, look, it's not the. Yeah. Right? It's just. And then, chillbone. And, okay, yeah. hey, sorry, man. You know, no offense. <laughs> I didn't really mean to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Beatles, you didn't say, hey, it's Beatles. It's Beatles. <laughs> so, Beatles. And they sort of set the set tone as well. for everybody else yeah. afterwards. Now you go, well, no, no, drop the duh, okay? Yeah. All right, anyway. That's why the the was awesome. They the put the. It in twice. I haven't heard the of them the. in a long time. Yeah, yeah. it's a great band. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, all right. So let's let's wrap it up and we'll say hey, hey to Mason. Uh, anyway, did I say Dave's Taos? We did. Yeah, that's Dave's Taos in the Twin Bridges at eight thirty. Chillbone. All right, right I think on. That's what that's uh, that about covers it. If there's anything else going on out there and you you know about it that we didn't cover it, give us a buzz. All right, four four three eight two five five. You gotta let us know. Four four three seven three eight zero. We'll uh, we'll we'll share it with the folks okay all right so um now we uh switch it up a little bit and say hi to mason van ghost who's in the studio Whoa. first time i've ha- had you in the studio for quite some time i haven't been to the new studio this is the new one yeah. here we've had you on the phone a couple times over the last yeah. year or two but i think it was the nine o'clock in the morning show the last, last time we were actually in <laughs> yeah in, that in, sounds in, right in the studio man all right. Uh, so, for for people unfamiliar, a little bit about uh, yourself and your music, and uh, got a show tonight, certainly, right? Got a show tonight at Rose Music Hall. It's the uh, uh, the, the tail end of my addicted tour, which was cut short. I lost my voice day two, so we had to cancel some dates and reschedule some stuff. It's you know, it's it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, that's the way yeah. it goes. But uh, it's it's the uh, I guess the unofficial album release party here in my hometown of Columbia, Missouri. Love it. Um, yeah, nice. got uh, myself and Sergio Slayer, uh, Damo Don Juan, and Mojo. He's doing like a beat set, and DJ Biggs holding down the uh, the ones and twos. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Nice. All right. A little bit about the new music and and in general, for, if people aren't yeah. familiar with you and your style, what do you do? It's uh, it's kind of like a hybrid soul hip hop thing I'm, I'm playing keys and singing and rapping and you're a great writer some... and a great keyboardist thank you I appreciate that absolutely it's yeah. a good utility role I've played keys in a couple bands well so. it's, uh, yeah, I mean if, you, if you're if you're 
good on the piano you can do a lot of things and yeah. and and you also have a great imagination you write great songs so. i appreciate that man yeah. yeah it's uh so yeah i mean aside from you know i started with just like me and a dj but i kind of i don't want to say graduated but just kind of changed how i present myself and I'm, evolved. yeah evolved i'm sitting at the keys a lot um you can't i don't know i don't talk to a lot of people in this room a lot so my voice is still not completely back um so i'm, I'm gonna do a lot, it's gonna be kind of stripped back i'm gonna do a lot of stuff on piano just kind of singing i drop some songs down a few keys so all i can right, get some notes right. better what's it like um, when you're performing live uh i mean is there uh i mean do you have a band on stage with you no, or is it's it just, just you just me with yeah. the keys and like i said i've got some production stuff so i've got like uh like some, some drum tracks and right, stuff. like right. i produce all my own stuff so i've got all yeah, the yeah. all the stems and all the elements and stuff so it's a it's a lot of fun for me all right <laughs> so uh a little bit about some of the artists that are performing with you tonight yeah so sergio slayer he's a uh intergalactic neighbor with the f flavor to savor uh he's, <laughs> he's a space rapper it's my guy space um, rapper. Da damo don juan he's cool he's laid back he's, he's real wavy i've known him forever as well and these are local guys these are local guys yeah yeah and uh in mojo he's a he's a producer he's a videographer that's how i you know got hit to him All right. but he's a producer as well okay and uh uh, I, I think that, you know, as far as like producers here in Columbia, like he's he's doing an excellent job and I want him to be showcased and featured more. I feel like he's kind of elusive, you know, he's not he's not the type of guy to be like, oh, look at this beat. Look at, you know, he's like, right, he's, right. he's he's behind the lens. Right. So I'm trying to like push him on stage in like, front of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Very cool. Yeah, yeah I, I love and admire all these guys. And, and of course, DJ Biggs, he's he was the DJ that I used to, you know, hey, we got this show this day. Let's go. And he's like, all right, let's go. You know, okay. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Like when you're putting a show together like this, and you're doing it at the Blue Note or Rose or wherever it is, do you do they give like in other words, do you go to them and say, hey, look, I'm doing an album release party, and I want to have these band, and I'm going to set the whole thing up, or do they say, okay, Mason, you know, we'll do the show, but we want some other people with you? Or how, how does that I work? mean, this this go around, it was it was you know, I got to pick the lineup. Um, I got to feature some just, some people here in town. Pretty much put it together. Yeah, yourself. you know, I was, I was scratching scratching my Great. brain and like, who, who, what could I pull somebody from somewhere else? Or you know, I, I think at one point in the conversation, Rose and Blue Note were like, well, if we could get, you know, these guys or whatever. But you know, it was it's was, it was all it's all me. Me, right. me and Andy Ground, you know, we're pulling, yeah, yeah. We're pulling it together. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Um, you shared a few songs with me. I did, and I'm gonna play them all. Uh, oh, but, are you? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right but, on, but, but let's talk first about them and uh yeah uh well actually uh out of the three that you sent me tell me one to play and i'll play it and then we'll come back and chat a little sure. bit all right yeah how about, how about addicted that? yeah that's the lead single that was the first one that we dropped when we announced the record so i feel like that's probably the best one to all right start things off with a all debut right. i love the debut i love it too okay yeah new stuff from van ghost this one's addicted what's the name of the record uh, songs about feelings. Songs about feelings. <laughs> That's what we do here on Open Mic yeah. Radio, right? Yeah. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> addicted. Van Gogh's. Check it out. Open Mic Radio, KOPN, Columbia. Tell me you like it, girl, I don't wanna fight it, girl, I need 
need you around. Hey, I feel like I'm addicted to you. And I know that I'm getting consumed by the touch of your voice. I feel the rush of your poison and it's bringing me down. Hey, I said I try to hide, but it's something. Then I hit the bottom and I feel your novel with all of my problems. Like I've got no option. This is all that I needed. And you either forgot it or you never believed it. Yeah, nothing in life is a guarantee. Apparently that isn't good enough. And all of these vices that carry me are pieces of me that you couldn't love. I know that it's hard to feel like you're enough and I've given you reason to doubt it. But I don't know what I would do if you ever should leave me without it. I'm addicted to you. I don't want to listen, but it's true. It's nothing you like, your girl, I don't want to fight. Your girl, I need you around. Hey, I feel like I'm addicted to you. I know that I'm getting consumed by your touch of your voice. I feel the rush of your poison and it's bringing me down. Damn yeah. right. That oh, new song's yeah. a game changer. That's addictive. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we new stuff. About, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> new well, stuff from Van, Van Ghost. <laughs> Man, uh, okay. Um, tell me a little bit about the, the music on the new record. It's, how long have you been writing it? Again, you, oh, you're you wow. performing all of the... You, you, you wrote everything, all the production. You're doing it all yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. I, yeah, I produced all that. Um... The song is it's it's years. I mean, this is like this is pre-COVID. I know we kind of use COVID as like a time. Yeah, now it is. Like, it's like a line yeah, there. Yeah, it was yeah. before all that, yeah. and you know, it it, it everything kind of got set on the back burner for a while, considering how live music was being addressed at that time. So it was like, well, you can release a record and just have it on the internet, or you know, release Hold a record and, and then you know right be able to play it for people in person right so we did that <laughs> uh all right so when when you're writing a song like that there's a bass line there's drums uh -huh. there's lots of different keyboard uh styles that are kind of blended together yeah. uh is there a is there a process do you start with anything or do, or does it just kind of come together the way it comes together i don't there's no method to the i'm i i it's different every time, you know. I, I spend a lot of time. I make beats that are just garbage, and oh, that's what that's that's my method. And I don't use those. And then I make stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm gonna use this. Um, so I don't know. I think with that, I was just like, I kind of it was just like playing the keyboard pattern with the drum loop that I made. And, and how do you do? Okay, so like Memphis, you develop. I, I know you mess. Yeah. What's that thing you use? Able Able Bass or Able? Huh? Ableton. Live. Ableton. Ableton. Yeah, I'm well, learning how to use Ableton now. So how um, would you do it typically? How do you record? Like at home when you're recording? Uh, so I've produced stuff in a program called Reason. It's you know, it's just one of the many DAWs you can use. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just tracking stuff there. Uh, when I was working, I, so I have a microphone, I have set up Pro Tools, blah, 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 at home. I right, recorded this right. whole record at home. I started working in North Village recording. This was three years ago. Uh, and everyone's music that I was mixing on sounded better than mine. So I re-recorded the whole record on the studio gear there, the $3,000 microphone, right. the $10,000 vocal chain, blah, 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 blah. Right. And then I was like, oh, this sounds great. This sounds, you know, this sounds like it's supposed to sound. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, sometimes that stuff does make it different. Man, it, it's gone through many phases, and, and the title of the record, Songs About Feelings, that was a working title. 
Um, it's a full record EP. How many how many tracks? It's eleven songs. Eleven it's, songs. It's an album. I yeah. would call it an album. Yeah, uh, it's got a sure. theme. It's got a flow. Uh, it has a reprise on it. You, you know, know? That, 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 that's a, <laughs> reprise. that's sort of a <laughs> that's sort of a theme that's been that's yeah. been coming up on the program for the last few weeks. Actually, is the the actual experience of an album of a full yeah. listening album. listening to a record and all the way singles. through it's a foreign um, concept it, i mean it right? really is and, and honestly we've been talking mm-hmm. about it a lot and the, the experience not just of hearing a song or a bunch of songs but literally hearing a record all the way through the way the artist placed the songs uh-huh. exactly the way that they wanted it to be heard and that there is actually a method to that madness you, right. you when you when For you have artist, 11 songs yeah. you decide what what you want to close it with and what you want to start it with etc the so, timing when it's, the it's song to enjoy comes the ride that they have created it's a, it's a yeah. huge art yeah. artistic yeah. Ex- that's part of the whole thing and uh yeah it's it's a it's something unfortunately i think not enough of the younger people at least experience anymore nah. and i guess even i shouldn't shouldn't categorize my age i mean there are a lot of guys my age that just listen to streaming stuff now and and la- last right. time they put on an lp and listened to it all the way through i'd say it's probably been a lo- been, been a bit maybe right. you know so it's just one of those cultural things that just kind of yeah. kind of washed over all of us mm-hmm. you know so but nothing like hearing a record so yeah man okay with that in mind i need to get a copy of that and uh and I've have a chance out in the car i'll bring to, some in and, for and, everybody and we'll, we'll, we'll put we'll put <laughs> one here at the station and let people yeah. share it awesome, and, and i'll man. listen to it all the way through appreciate you and so, what's the next one we get here yeah okay we've got uh um r.i.p peace of mind yeah that's the second single uh-huh. seems like the natural progression to do that one next all right this let's one's do, more, let more rap but it's you know it's, right on no i love it yeah and uh i appreciate you making radio friendly versions of them too that's I, that's a yes. tough thing for me with, <laughs> with, with hip with hip-hop as much as i love it it's really tough to share a lot yeah. of it because i get uh, hell to pay sure. and i can say hell so. yeah all right all right we're good, we're good. <laughs> all right uh yeah. new stuff <laughs> From Van Gogh, so you can check this out tonight. Rose Music Hall, Rose correct? Rose Music Hall, that's correct. Bunch of other great artists down there as well, and uh, I imagine you'll hear perhaps this song tonight. Check it out, new stuff. Van Gogh, KOPN Columbia, Open Mic Radio, 89.5 FM. I don't wanna lie. Take the shot like, oh my god. Wake up when you're dozing off. The safest option, let me call the shots. I've been watching Illuminati. Y'all miss the truth, you don't truth about me. Calculated, ain't moving sloppy. Is there anything that you can do to stop me? It's a lucid dream, no confuse the meaning. Talent ain't based off music, streaming. Use booze and weed and I lose my steam. Never do what they do from the rooster season. Gotta branch out. I know it look good, but got a bad mouth. Pack you out when that last round against Ricky Hatton. Now they feeling me like a pat down. Uh, don't get caught with the contraband. Gotta get home to man and watch. Atlanta. Could've hold me down, could've boxed me in Because this shit's off the wall like I'm rockin' vans uh, Lost in the sauce of this vodka cran I mean it's too much sauce for your pots and pans I mean it's too much gossip, go watch a man Then we go behind the back to get your pockets, fam uh. I know I lost my way I found it somewhere Underneath the moon Sometimes I wonder why I just can't find a little piece of mind I know I lost my way I found it somewhere Sometimes I wonder why I just can't find a little piece of mine I think that you're losing a mason. I think this is proof of a mason. I know that you're getting confused, but really you use it to waste it. When you live your life in the days and you measure the price that you pay, first is a fuck up, twice a mistake, third is a part of the face. Waste not, but I wanna lie. Yeah, I hate that I'm gonna lie. The list goes on and on and on and on. Shit, of course I forgot half the shit I was supposed to do. But I still wanna talk about the oldest news. Am I supposed to act like I know the truth? When I'm really right here, blindfolded too. Uh, open your mind, let a dream expand. From the food can feed your fam. All I need is a scheme and a clean slate. Yo, too focused on things I am. I've been trying to get center for a minute now. Had to play the bench when I'm sitting out. Sometimes you gotta get around. No joke, man, I still don't gotta figure it out. I know I lost my way. I found it somewhere underneath the moon. Sometimes I wonder why I just can't find a little piece of mine. I know I lost my way. I found it somewhere. Hell yeah. yeah. New stuff. Nice. Van Ghost. All right. Okay, so man, I don't know how you do it when you when you're doing the rap stuff. 
the speed at which you do it. And I mean, how what, do you have to practice? How many takes is it to to get that down? Or, and do you do you? I'm sure you can do some editing where you can kind of sure. b- b- do a clip and then. But I mean, man, I don't like it, to do it that way. I like you to, probably don't because you want to be able to do it live too, yeah, right? You got to practice how you perform it, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I practice a lot. I'm I'm very I don't want to say OCD about it because I'm not like self diagnosing myself with anything, but <laughs> right. I, I get very like particular about how it's like how I'm supposed to do it, and if I don't, I'll start over and do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. And I'll, I drive my family crazy. I know I do. Well, um, I mean, <laughs> it, it it's got to be really right. In other words, yeah. like because because when it flows right, it flows right, and if it doesn't, you can hear it. Yeah. And so you got to get it, obviously. I mean, yeah, you got to get it right. And like but. with the recording, like when I was, when, before I was an engineer at the studio, you have to pay for an engineer. And it's just like, if you're not in there on your, on your stuff, it costs a lot. You are wasting your money. Yeah. Right. So like anytime, like after the first couple game. sessions, I was like, I got to make sure all these songs I practiced <laughs> a thousand times before I even walk through that door right. so right. I can get in there and like get comfortable and knock it out in two, three takes. And then just let it breathe and be done with it right right so uh when when you're when you're writing compared to your practicing i mean like Mm -hmm. like like you write a song and then you work on it how long would you say before you got it where 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 you where it's solid and i have a funny before you answer that and the reason i ask is because i'm i'm an amateur guitar player i'm not a professional and uh, and no one would want to pay me for it, probably, yeah. right? But the reason I say it is because a long time ago, someone said to me, hey, Mike, you know the difference between an amateur and a professional musician? And I said, no. And he said, an amateur is a person who plays until they get it right, and a professional is someone who plays until they never get it wrong. Right. Yeah, and I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I can play till I get it right sometimes, yeah. but I, sure. I, I don't think there's one song in my whole repertoire that I would never get wrong. Sure. You know, so maybe comments on that, and 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 then and then relate that to how you get a song ready and when you think you're ready to perform it in public, where you got it down. I, this, I, I, I don't know if this is just how my brain works because I'm weird, but it made me think of like professional musicians right like they like green day or something and they're like right. playing these songs that they've played like 10,000 times and they're able to like almost disconnect with what they're doing and just yeah it's almost it. like, like total muscle i don't memory, feel like right? i'm quite there man i like still make mistakes <laughs> yeah yeah they can like scan the crowd and like see if there's like something that's going right. on that shouldn't be going on they can call people out and stuff it's just like, automatic almost. yeah i don't yeah. i don't know man um I don't. I'm sorry. What was your question? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm like I'm scatterbrained. How do you set your flow? When do you decide the flow is right? Uh, it's got to just. It's got to feel good. It's like when I'm writing. Like if I'm writing like a rap, I guess is what you're referring to. It's yeah. like uh, getting getting stuck on a line is just like I just kind of whatever comes out of my mouth next is the right thing that's to say because it's naturally where my mouth wants to go like physically so I don't know if there's some kind of no in a weird it's almost like following an instrument like what's the yeah. next note on the piano or or, or or an appropriate note for a guitar solo to follow the previous one whatever mm-hmm. huh yeah, just linguistically kinda, in a weird way maybe yeah kind of kind of sort of huh. okay well, I, haven't really, I haven't really thought about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, we've got one more and I'm not going to keep you too long because you got to get loaded down there at the, at, yeah, at, no at the worries, note man. but uh dirty laundry and you've got a you've got a guest uh, helping out on this yeah one. yeah her name is beanie she was uh she's recently relocated to california i had no idea because i reached out to her i said hey the show's this day i'd love to have you come sing the song that we did and how'd you how do you know her we What's met your... through one mic you know tk sure and, and and james and them yeah she was there and we, we just i think she was like a friend of a fr- like everybody knows oh, yeah. everybody yeah, here yeah. you know so right, right. just like and she was a singer and i was like oh, i would really like you know a, a singer on this song that isn't just me singing um and yeah, it just worked. Yeah. Oops. No, you're good. <laughs> That's how the song starts. <laughs> all right. Let's do that one more time, all right? It's Open yeah. Mic Radio. New stuff from Van Gogh. So you can check him out. And once again, a bunch of cool artists tonight at uh, Rose Music Hall. Show starts at 8. Show at, at 8. eight. Doors yes. at 7, I guess, right? Doors at 7. Show at 8. All right. This one, once again, uh, is called Dirty Laundry. And once again, the girl was helping you out? Beanie. Beanie. All right. Yeah. Check it out. New stuff from Mason Van Ghost. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN, Columbia. Sometimes, sunshine, she's just fine. It's still every now and then. I can't complain when it's 
Trying to make a dollar off a pocket lint. I tend to dwell on my downfalls are not accomplishments. Stay in your lane, I'm playing this game with novices. Why don't you start acting like you all got some sense? The problem, kid, I wanted to get his wallet big. Odds not in my favor, but I don't want to call it quits. Sketching this verse in my desk when it worked. Questioning what is destined as I'm stretching my worth. Burn the candle from both ends as I handle these cold winds. Going in like me and the door guy are old friends. No offense, but I don't leave a with open ends, so I'm giving y'all my poker face before phoning in. Fresh about the circle jerk, wondering if all this time is it really worth the work? Cause ever since I first emerged, I've been treated like dirt. Words underneath the surface that hurt, but I'll certainly preserve. I learned to stay alert. Sometimes sunshine is just one. Mr. I wanna go to Hollywood and chase a dead dream. I wanna go east and feast on the Big Apple. Why is everything I've wanted always upstream? And I'm stuck in Shoot Creek without a paddle. Try to grab the hands of the clock. The sands are falling quicker. All things considered, I'm just balding and bitter. I've been doing this for years and my wallet isn't bigger. But if I let this shit go, would you call me a quitter? Everything's on halt or indefinitely stalling. How do I hang this up when my destiny is calling? All the stress to feed these problems. Keeps me at the bottom, meaning away me. And you don't see I keep a bottle. I'm just stuck in between what I think it means and what it really is. Nah, it's never as it seems. Hold up. I ain't no king of kings. I just see some things that lead me to believe in what you keep in dreams. Just are deleted. Sometimes sunshine is just fine. Just Mason Van Ghost, new Great stuff. stuff, and uh, appreciate you, dude. Appreciate, appreciate you coming down this afternoon. You can catch him tonight. Don't miss it. All right, Rose Music Hall, doors, doors at, at seven. seven, shows at eight. Uh, Van Ghost with a bunch of other stuff. Album release party. His new record is called "Songs About Feelings." <laughs> Songs about feelings, <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah, on, honestly, man, you really, really sounded fantastic. Thank you. And the fact that, that uh, you know that you do it all yourself, and it's really impressive what you're doing. So I hope you uh, I have that. a great uh, time tonight and a great uh, um, response to the new record. And if you leave a copy here at the station, I'll make sure that we, we share it with Give other it people and, and, yes. and we'll play yeah. it, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Um, if people want to get a like hold of you heard. or follow you on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, yeah, what's, just, what's the best way to find uh, you? you can, Mason Van Ghost is the at handle for Instagram, Facebook, all the social medias. is just at Mason Van Ghost, all one word. Um, yeah. I ain't hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go out there and find him and uh, check him out once again tonight uh, at Rose. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, you as well, Mike. Have Appreciate tonight, you. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank All right, uh, we're going to play. You know, I've got, I should, ask, I should ask you while you're here. There's a song, I think it was called Blue Jeans or something like that, that, that you wrote years ago. What was it called? Whoa. Denim? Denim. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to play that if I can that's find it. That's a great, yeah. I, I mean, find I was, it. out of all the yeah. stuff from the last record, that's, that's the one of them. 
Let's see if I can do this Man. quick enough without doing what they call yeah. dead air. Thank Nobody you. likes that. And I think this is relatively clean for radio. I think there's one. Relatively speaking. I think there's one. I remember where it's at, actually, so I can just kind of <laughs> fade it down. Anyway, uh, check it out. One, one from, from an earlier release. Uh, I think maybe, maybe 2017, 18, something like that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, uh, check this out. An old one from Van Gogh's, and uh, it's called Denim. Over Mike Radio, KOPN Columbia. Nice.
All right, that one's called Denim. A few years old, that one, maybe five. Wonderful. Cool stuff from uh, Van Gogh, no doubt, man. All right, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. Nice visit there with Mason Van Gogh. So you can check out his uh, performance tonight at the Rose, Rose Music Hall. Rose Music Hall. Yeah, and uh, speaking of uh, $15 music to tonight. He's with uh, Sergio. Sergio. Yeah, there's a bunch of great stuff there. Some yeah. good hip-hop and some, uh, some fun DJ stuff happening down there. Okay, also... Uh, Ray Fitzgerald with Chaz Premack tonight. That happening in uh, happening in about twenty minutes at the Blue Note. Yeah, at the Blue Note. So I'm going to play a couple more from Ray. And we'll close out the show with uh, with songs from her. And yeah, been a fun afternoon. Got time to get down there. Yeah, let me, show starts around six. Yeah, and I need to get this in though too, Kurt. In fact, I need to start giving these to you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. This, this program is brought You're to you. You're listening to KOP by donations from our listeners. All right, this pr- uh, this program is celebrating to you. 50 hey, years. Uh, hey, yeah, actually, I got two things that I need to say. Uh, first of all, this is pro- <laughs> this program is brought to you by donations from our listeners in Socket, a locally owned internet, phone, and telecommunications provider. Socket provides residential billing with no hidden fees, contracts, or data caps. Hey, Debbie's in the house. Hey. More information about Socket, available at socket.net or by calling 1-800-SOCKET-3. Socket, unusually good internet, unusually good service. All right, check out Socket. All right, um, also, uh, this Sunday, tomorrow, join in on the fun. Bring a friend, support KOPN at the Shea. Uh, The Shea is located at 16 Hit Street, down in the district. Doors at 6 p.m., no cover. There will be snacks and live performances from Howard Marshall and friends, Sam Kennedy, and uh, Paul Fesh. Um, space is limited, so arrive early, get ready for a fun night uh, like back in the day. The Shea is what was an old coffee house, and if you weren't here in Columbia that, that far back, it's a little bit south of uh, Hit Records, and um, there's a Presbyterian church there. Right. And, and uh, kinda in the coffee the shop is down there level. in the lower level of that there. So yep. I guess they're going to do another performance there tomorrow night. They used to have bands there all the time. Yeah. So yeah I, actually, like for a long time, they've been doing that. All right. Well, they're doing it again. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So, all right. Uh, so uh, check that tomorrow. We need uh, more venues. And then there's more. one other thing that, uh, that Paul gave me, that uh, there's an open pickers jam at uh, Southern Provisions. That's a, that's a shop down there uh, in Rochport. And they do that every last Friday of the month from 5 to 7, uh, uh, an open pickers jam. So I guess if you've got a string instrument, uh, you, can, you can bring it down there. And Southern Provisions is a little shop down there on Main Street in, in Roachport. So that's probably a fun little, little gig. Okay, so, um, yeah, what else? What's on your mind, Kurt? Anything, anything, any words of wisdom for the uh, – hey, what's happening in the, in the Mizzou game? Get us an update. Somebody, call me. Oh. Call me and tell me what's happening in the Mizzou game. Um, I'm, I'm out of the loop, okay? While. And uh, we'll hear another one from Ray – let's see. Let me, let me look at my notes here and see if there's anything that I need to tell you. I think the Tigers are ahead in the game. You think? The, the That's tig- just you guessing, are, though. The, the, no, the Tigers are. The Tigers are winning, I guarantee you. Oh, you were looking at it the, the on your tigers. telephone? Oh, well, yeah, I know they're both Tigers, though, you jerk. <laughs> Mizzou Tigers. <laughs> it's, the, oh, you didn't have to. it's the Princeton Tigers and the Mizzou <laughs> Tigers. And he's like, I'm sure the Tigers are winning. Yeah, all right. He's a, he's a clever one, this, this Kurt. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> right. And I'm like, and four four three eight two five five. And like, I'm like, somebody call him. Nobody calls. <laughs> no. <one>. Right. <laughs> They're like, figure it out, Jerry. All right. Here's one from uh, from Ray Fitzgerald. It's called Smile Land, and you're listening to it. Open mic radio, KOPN Columbia. And now the phone rings. <laughs> FM.
All right, there you have it. A couple from Ray Fitzgerald to sort of wrap things up this afternoon. Appreciate uh, you all being with us, and uh, hope you have a great weekend, or finish it up at least, and uh, stay warm until things warm up. won't be long. All right, spring's just about here. Get out and see uh, Ray. Tonight, you got right about uh, 15 yeah. minutes or so. Nah, yeah. Not even. 10 minutes or so to get down there to the Blue Note, see Ray Fitzgerald and Chaz Premax. It's going to be a fantastic performance, and uh, more good music after that. Uh, at the Blue Note tonight, and, and of course, after uh, that, you can walk on down to the Rose. And walk on down, walk, walk on, on down, on. walk on down a country road. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> down the Rose and see Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I really, uh, um, I walk I'm, on down. I'm sure excited that that Mason came down to visit with us this afternoon. That was really cool. So, anyway, he's a he's a super talented dude, and I I'm I'm really excited to listen to his new record. I like what we got to hear today. Yeah, for sure. Yep. All, all right, so, yeah, get out there tonight and uh, do something fun. See some music, all right? And um, we're going to wrap it up next week. Uh, what is it? Oh, The Rolling Stops. We have The Rolling Stops. Yeah, Paul so Meyer was here this afternoon live, with yeah. us. Spent a little time uh, with Paul, the bass player. Have him kick yeah. it live in the studio. Yes, yeah, so uh, live music next week with The Rolling Stops. The week after that is the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, and we'll have Fox Teeth. With us, Justin and uh, um, uh, Josh fun. Wrong and Mike Fox and Marissa and Wood. A and there's, one other, well. there's one other artist. I forget. I always forget the fifth uh, person in that band. But at any rate, Fox Teeth will be down here on the 1st of April. And I think Mary Ellen Kirk is going to stop down and say hi. She's a friend from, from back in the day and um, touring musician now. Um, Rachel Kelly, a friend of mine, uh, played in Violence of the Violets and uh, has been in a bunch of other projects since then. But she's got a new thing going on called Laika. And uh, we're going to get Rachel and her band down here sometime soon. Ray and Chaz will be here at some point. The elusive Ray Fitzgerald at some point in the future. <laughs> the elusive, <laughs> we'll, yes. get, we'll get the, them back here on the station. You know, I almost caught that snipe. <laughs> uh, we have an Earth Day special on, on the 15th of April. So Earth Day is the 22nd or the 23rd. And there's a bunch of musicians that are performing down at Peace Park. It's and always 420. And there's a whole right. thing, right? So anyway, a bunch of the people that are performing at the Earth Day celebration on the 23rd will be here on the radio with us on the 15th promoting that show. Okay. Uh, Hang Your Hate sometime soon. Nick Danger, Bannister Tarleston, Soft Crisis. A bunch of stuff lined up for the, uh, hey, for, the for the next little bit. After okay? this, you got to stick around for the Shumba. You know, Reggae party, man. You read my mind. All right. You've been listening to Open Mic Radio right here, KOPN 89.5 FM. Hope you all enjoy the weekend. Uh, be cool to yourself. Be cool to other people. Stick around for Rosh Shumba and a reggae party. We'll catch you all next week. And this is Kurt getting us out of here. Mike Radio.